Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video. It's Stanis Mustache here and today I'm gonna show you guys the best shotgun tank heavy bow gun build. So basically this build right here was designed to be a perfect balance between offense and defense. So with this build right here you will be able to easily solo anything in Master Rank. So without further talking let's jump straight into the build. So for this build right here we're gonna be using the Loyal Thunder which is a rated 12 heavy bow gun that you can craft using Xenogre materials. So now let's take a look at its stats. So the Loyal Thunder comes with a throw attack of 420 with 0% affinity, low deviation and 1 level 2 juice slot. It also has the Wyvern Heart as its special ammunition. Now for the augments for this build we're gonna be using 1 affinity increase and 1 health regen which is not that great for spread demo tree but it's still very handy for keeping your health full. Now for the armored pieces we're using the Golden Headdress Beta Plus, the Kirin Jacket Alpha Plus, the Case of Embraces Beta Plus, the Odogaron Coil Beta Plus, the Garuga Greaves Beta Plus, and the Iron Side Charm 5. Now, with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 443 with 80% affinity for hitting weak spots, 100% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster, and low deviation. Now, for the custom mods for this build, we're gonna be using one recoil suppressor, three close range up mods, and one shield mod. Now, bear in mind that you can use any mods of your preference, so if you want a little bit more damage, you can actually switch one of the close range up mods for one special scope. And if you want to be even more tankier, you can actually switch two close range up mods for two shield mods, so you can actually tank anything in this game. So, now let me show you guys all the skills that you have together in this setup right here. So, here we have Cricoli level 7 that increases your affinity by 40%. Guard level 5 that massively decreases the impact of attacks and reduces stamina depletion by 50%. Health boost level 3 that increases your health gauge by 50 points. Free element and ammo up level 3 that expands the clip size for most ammunition. Critical boost level 3 that increases the damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. Weakness exploit level 3 that increases your affinity by 30% for hitting weak spots and by 50% for hitting wounded parts of the monster. Divine blessing level 3 that while active reduces damage taken by 50%. Spread and Power Shots level 2 that greatly increases the power of your spread ammunition. Agitator level 2 that increases your attack by 8 points and your affinity by 5% whenever the monster gets enraged. Heat Guard level 1 that completely nullifies heat damage. And Guard Up level 1 that allows you to guard against ordinarily unblockable attacks. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have 1 Shield 2 2 that increases your Guard Up skill. 3 Release Slash Vitality Jewels 4 that increases both your ammo up and health boost skills. 1 Protection Jewel 1 that increases your Divine Blessing skill. 2 Spread Jewels 3 that increases your Spread and Power Shots skill. 1 Challenger Jewel 2 that increases your Agitator skill. 3 Critical Jewels 2 that increases your Critical Boost skill. And 1 Challenger Slash Protection Jewel 4 that increases both your Agitator and your Divine Blessing skills. So now talking about Jewels, it's a very good idea to use the Glider Mantle Plus with Challenger Jewels in it so you can actually have Agitator Level 4 or even Agitator Level 5 depending on the Level 4 Jewels that you have. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the Train Arena so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching guys and now check this out!
So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!